with uh, Dean Smith coming to the King Power Stadium to try and sort of save Leicester's season at a really difficult point for them. They've just lost to, to Bournemouth. They are second bottom now and almost looking like they're falling away a bit as well. Dean Smith's bringing with him Craig Shakespeare, obviously, who knows Leicester quite well. He, he was there during their, their best period and he's actually managed the club as well. And John Terry as well in the Leicester dugout, it looks like. So an interesting trio of, of people to lead Leicester, maybe out of trouble. We'll see. What do you make of that appointment, David? Does that kind of make sense on a, a caretaker basis? I think so. And again, it, it leads on to obviously what we we're talking about and saying that clubs don't really want to commit long term to a manager who, you know, they're, they're unsure if it's the right appointment fully for the long term obviously whether they will be in the Premier League their their status is kind of you know up in the air um, particularly at the moment they're probably I think they're probably the worst team in terms of form um, over the last few games um, they are really struggling and it's I know we've kind of been undecided haven't we really over the last yeah. few weeks on Leicester and whether they will have enough and we thought that they'll have enough talent to stay up um, and you have to look at it and I look at their, their, their starting eleven now and it doesn't surprise me to see where the position they're in. They've got Daniel Amate at centre-back who's yeah. not really a centre-back, not really good enough for the Premier League in my opinion. And they're leaking goals left, right and centre and they're not beating. They're, you know, they, they look at the last couple of games they've had and you'd be saying they probably should be the favourites on paper against both of those teams, against Palace and, and Bournemouth. So, what is going on there? I just, I just don't know. It doesn't look like they've got the right characters in there to galvanise the rest of the team. But so you look at Dean Smith coming in. He's obviously got good experience with Norwich, and he's got obviously Craig, Craig Shakespeare's coming in. He's got obviously a lot of know-how about the club. Knows the club inside out. I think they'll just be hoping to get a reaction. They need a reaction from somewhere. Yeah. Um, that's you know first and foremost, and they just need a bit of character about them because they look like they've given up to me. Yeah. I think they need to become difficult to beat, really difficult to beat. I think Dean Smith's got a chance for organising the defence enough to do that. Um, and I think if they can do that, then they've got a good chance of getting some goals as well, if they can go forward on the break quite well. Because I think you've said before, they're quite a good pressing team, aren't they? And at the front line can actually create something. It's just making sure that defence stays watertight. That's the challenge. So if Dean Smith can achieve that and actually coach them to be a better defensive unit, whoever's at the back, whether that's Amate or, well, or not. It'll be interesting to see how he sets up with it with the defence because obviously at Norwich, he's, at, he's worked with wing-backs before, hasn't he? Um, yeah. So oh, I'll be I'll be fascinated to see actually who he starts with. Obviously, Siuncu was pulled out of the fire and, firing line, wasn't he? He's not been around for a while. Um, for what, what went on there with Rodgers and him was... Uh, strange one so whether he comes back in will be interesting to see 